Hello there. Um, I'm going to be giving a test to of uh, Trend Micro, Micro Security, which is a beta product. Um, and it uses Trend Micros in the cloud technology. So it's another cloud antivirus to use minimal resources and all of that. So the installer is quite large for a cloud antivirus. 63.3 megabytes um, and so I just went through the extracting process and extracts to this setup so all I know right now is that it has a nice interface um, so I'm going to agree and install what it does when you first run it when it checks your system requirements is it checks your browser so I had to um, upgrade from my nice little Internet Explorer 6, my wonderfully insecure Internet Explorer 6, to Internet Explorer 7, just so it could run the installer because it doesn't support Internet Explorer 6, which is kind of good to force users to move up a step to some degree, but it wasted me a restart and uh, installation process. But... I think I have to live with that. So I have 10 malicious links. Depending on how quick we go, I'll see if I have to do these in part 1 or part 2 videos. And, because I don't feel like wasting your time, or wasting my video rendering time or anything, I might just pause the video, because this seems to be taking a little bit of time. Okay. I will be right back. Okay. Trend Microsecurity now protects you. Sounds good to me. So I'm going to keep going here and see how it plays out. Trial version. It is not going to be a free product. Okay, all set. So, let's take a look at this. If it doesn't open automatically. It looks like it does. So this is like the simplest interface I think I've ever seen. I guess you can click on this, you can go take a look at its files, close that, settings, gonna up this all the way because I just feel like Yeah, there's like nothing to configure here. This is absolutely simple. So. I'm going to start on a few links here. Because it appears I have the time. I have ten links, as I said earlier. And. I'm going to test them. It's that straightforward. Actually, while I'm um, loading things up here, I'm just going to take a look at the memory usage. 
I see 500k. I believe that's part of it. 36k. 36. Well, more like 37. I'm not looking too carefully. I don't feel like looking too carefully. So, for the links. I know that I just detected these. I mean, I tested these. And it came up, but apparently that was not a working link, which surprises me because that just worked. These are all zero day threats. Wow. So that was, it doesn't even let you download it yet. It just blocks it right in the browser. There's not even an option to download it. Website is blocked again. No way I can download it. It doesn't even give me a way to. Website blocked again. Wow, this is going quickly. Website blocked by Trend Micro again. Wow, this is pretty stunning, actually. Website blocked by Trend. I want to find something that gets through this. I'm not finding it. I don't think this link works. It's not loading right. Neither does that. Locked again. And this one is a rogue. And it's blocked again. Wow. Every single thing I gave it was blocked. If I go to icar.org I go to their anti-malware test file. I want to see if this detects. I know it'll detect this. I, I'm pretty sure. File removed, okay. So if I download a doubly zipped file, it blocks the page. Wow. I'm stunned. That was absolutely amazing there. Um, it blocked every single link and it didn't even give me a chance to download it and it blocked it quickly. It seems pretty light. It's an extremely simple interface. There's like nothing to it, and it says it stopped 14 threats, and stopped one virus threat, it stopped just right in the web. There's not much more for me to discuss. Thanks for watching.